Responsibility. Hmm. What does that mean to you anyway? Well, I take it as response ability. It's your ability to respond as opposed to reacting. A reaction is something that happens when you're jumping without thinking, where your brain says, hey, I've seen this kind of occurrence before. There are all the signs it's going to happen again. This is what I'm going to do. And you don't even step back to evaluate if that's accurate. You very often regret the actions that you're taking without thinking. When you step back, and you assess a situation and you recognize the fact that no event has a meaning all by itself, that your interpretation of an event is what causes you to feel the way you feel. Taking all of that into account allows you to respond in a way that's going to serve you and the event and anyone else who's being impacted by event. So here's another step in responsibility. Who are you responsible to? You're responsible to you first. You've got to love yourself first. You can't give what you don't have. And if you're constantly giving and giving and giving, but you're never allowing yourself, or maybe others aren't allowing you they're calling you selfish if you try to take care of your own needs very common thing that happens for women in today's world for women in today's world who find themselves having to take care of their children their spouse and their parents and for many also a job outside the home and if you're not working outside the home working inside the home is probably the most challenging job there is. So who do you got to consider first? Well, me, myself, and I. I got to be sure to fuel my spirit, my emotions, my physical body, getting exercise, getting sleep, so that I can maintain my health. Because what happens when you don't. What happens when you constantly give, give, give to others? It's you lose your own health. That's why so many women of all ages succumb to cancers of feminine organs of not being able to give birth to their own desires, to their own love, to their own creation of lung cancer because it's not giving one a chance to take on life. You need to be able to breathe to do that. Brain cancer functioning as you want your world to appear. Your desires, your dreams. Why are you here? You're here to be part of the big picture because no person is here to live as an island. But to be part of community, you have to be able. <laughs> you have to be able to respond. Now, have you ever noticed that people come into your world who you immediately don't like? Consider that the people who are in your world are there to help you. Nobody hurts you. Nobody makes you angry or frustrated except you choosing to interpret someone's behaviors that way. Maybe not speaking up for yourself. No event has a meaning except the one you give it. You're responsible for how you feel and for recognizing when somebody is doing something you don't like they're giving you an opportunity to look at a part of yourself 
you just really don't want to acknowledge. <laughs> but by acknowledging that part of you, you get to take in all the good parts of it because nothing's ever entirely bad. Nothing's ever entirely good either. So look at things all the way around. And if you happen to be the person in your family, and usually every family has one person who does all the feeling for everybody else, be aware when you're feeling certain ways, just notice, is that frustration? Is that fatigue? Is that anger? Is that fear actually yours? Or does it belong to somebody else? And if you're very sensitive, it can happen to you when you're standing in line in the grocery store and there's somebody next to you experiencing a major emotion. Be aware of your feelings. Be aware of the feelings of people around you. Think before you interpret. You are able to respond. So live with responsibility in your own hands. Go on down. Tell us what you were surprised to discover about yourself when you stopped and thought about, hmm, when I met that person, I didn't like that person very much. I wonder why. Ah, here's why. I guarantee You'll always find that reason, that what's often called shadow part of you, the part you don't want to see or recognize or accept. But hey, if you don't bring it out of the shadow, how in the world is it going to see the light and change and incorporate within your whole being?